Okay, so uh, Mr. Canton here again, your friendly 8th grade global studies teacher, uh, back with just kind of a little explanation of what Schoology is and how it works. First of all, um, as you know, your student this year, uh, instead of the traditional classroom website, um, your student's teachers uh, in 8th grade are going to be using what is known as Schoology. Um, the short version is that it will take all of, basically, in the past where you used to have to go to multiple different teachers, multiple different websites to find multiple different assignments and due dates and calendars and yada, yada, yada you know the mess. Um, this streamlines, streamlines it and puts it all in one place for you. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick tour. Uh, prepare to be wowed. First things first, after you've created your account, you're going to click log in. And you will use the login email and password that you set when you created your account and simply click log in. Once you log in, it's going to take you to the main screen. If you notice first, right here in the upper right hand corner, it says test student. That's my student's name. Um, and I'm viewing Schoology as my student would view it. That is my recommended way for you to view it. You can also view it um, as yourself, uh, kind of as the parent view. Um, but this test student view is, is the best way to do it. First thing that you're going to see here, uh, right in the middle is the news feed where you're going to have updates. So I can see we have an update um, from Mrs. Brett, Language Arts Third Hour, with uh, the online textbook info. I can also see Mrs. Brett, she posted her weekly agenda today, so if I know my students is out, I can see that on Wednesday, here's what was happening in class. Uh, we have posts from Ms. Stevens, uh, Mr. Canton, all kinds of stuff. So this is a good area to check for kind of up-to-date um, update uh, updates, basically. Yeah. Um, the other really awesome feature is over here on the right-hand side where it says Upcoming. This feature Feature is going to allow you to see all the upcoming assignments and due dates for your student. Uh, if I hover over it, and I just kind of hover my mouse over it, I can see this is for my student's sixth hour algebra class. Uh, and I can see what the assignment is, but it's also a link, and I can click that link. And it will take me to more information about the assignment, including any handouts uh, that Ms. Stevens or that the teachers have included. Uh, so that's a really simple way to see the assignments. Uh, you'll see all kinds of stuff up here, whether it's, you know, class calendar or tests coming up. Uh, it's still early in the year, so it's not overloaded yet with all kinds of things coming up. So this is going to be your basic view. The other really awesome feature of Schoology, and I think this is my favorite feature uh, from the parent point of view, is the calendar over here on the left-hand side. You go ahead and click that calendar. And and bam, just like that, you will see a calendar for all of your students' classes. All right, so you can see on any given date what's coming due. Again, you can hover over it, uh, and you can see information about the assignment. So again, uh, I can click on that six-hour algebra, and I can uh, and I can get more information uh, about that assignment. I can again, you know, see the due date. I can get the uh, notes if I need be. Uh, if there would be extra links, all of that is going to be located right in here. So those are going to be the two kind of main features that you're going to want with Schoology, right? Uh, the upcoming information over here, and then the calendar that we just looked at. So those features alone should help you um, keep better track of what's coming due, when it's coming due, for what class, and all of that good stuff. Um, one thing to point out that your students grades are not kept in Schoology. There might be grades that show up but they won't actually um, count. Uh, the official grade will still be in school view on ties the way that you're used to. So if you see grades in Schoology, just kind of ignore them um, because it's the grades in school view that you're really going to want to look at. That's really it. Um, in a nutshell, those are the two main features you're going to want to know about. If you have any questions at all, please contact one of your students' classroom teachers, whether it's me uh, or any of their other core teachers, and they should be able to help you. Uh, and we're always up for suggestions on ways to make it better. Uh, so please feel free to offer that feedback to us as well. Thanks a bunch, and best of luck.